for Braden Blackford. And he got him to chase, a change of pace. With Olenek and DeYoung do next. And the righties offering is a curveball up and in, and Seidel swings through that one. The pitch from Ayers is in the air. Shallow right center. Thorman's going to have to come a long way. Out goes the second baseman, Nellis, and he makes a sliding basket catch. Oh, my goodness. Just below the letters. And the lefty's pitch is in the air. Shallow right. Down the line. Novak coming in. And that one falls fair just inside the line. One run is in in Johnson. Thorman stops at third. Number 10 on the season. And this is a high tapper. Conley at second has to play back, has to get a lot on the throw, and it's late, and a run comes in, and now the second run trying to score, and he's thrown out at home plate. At 291, and the pitch here is on the ground, and fair down the left field line. This will be an extra base hit to lead off the third inning as Walker, big turn at second base, and he'll stop there. This one is through the hole on the left side, and Purdue Fort Wayne leads it three to nothing. As Caleb Johnson putting together a pretty nice afternoon so far, I would say. It's going to come down to which is which team's going to be the home team in that matchup. As Seidel slaps one to right, there's the first hit of the day. Thorman cuts it off near the line. Seidel digging for two. There's going to be a play on him at second base, and he is out. And defensively at first, he has delivered, and he drives this one to right center. Thorman back. He dives. He can't make the play. It's going to get all the way to the wall. Olenek's going to score. DeYoung's going to stop at second base. And there you go. No sooner the words out of my mouth than DeYoung delivers, and it's a 3-1 game. Walker at 295. Swing and a miss. Chased off the plate outside. Throw to first. It's a... Throw that gets past Benson. Nelson going to turn second. He's going to try for three. He's in there as the throw got away from Benson at first. It rattled around the right field line. And the pitch to him is a breaking ball. In and out of the glove of Thielen. It gets to the backstop. And Nelson will race in and score from third. As we play in the seventh. Miller's 1-2. High fastball swing and a miss home run on the recently completed road swing as this fastball rides in and plunks Ty Olenek and the lefty on lefty and it's laced to right in the corner this could be extra bases Olenek to third he's going to be sent Ty will score without a throw as DeYoung picks up his second RBI double of the game Warms in the Mastodon's pen as this one is on a line. Snagged by Nellis. And back to second goes DeYoung so far. Miller, the kick in the pitch. Line to left. This is going to fall. This will get a run home. Higgins cuts it off. Conley smells two, and he's in there with a headfirst dive. At the matter at hand. The pitch to DeYoung. Swing and a miss. Kevin Fee strikeouts. Nate DeYoung to close this game. And the Mastodons record their first conference win since they beat the Panthers back on April the 14th, 2009-2010.